Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Fairuz and today I will be taking you through acne, types of acne and care for acne prone skin. Before we continue, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and also like our Facebook page. So what is acne? Acne is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that causes spots and pimples, especially on the face, shoulders, back, neck, chest and the upper arm. It commonly normally occurs during puberty when the sebaceous glands activate, but it can also occur at any age. So how does acne occur? To keep your hair and body lubricated, your body depends on sebaceous gland which sits under your skin. They secrete oily substance called sebum which prevents your skin and hair from drying out. Your hair follicles routinely shade dead skin which the sebum normally carries out of your body. When your body produces extra sebum and dead skin cells, they can stick together and clog your pores and that results in acne. So what are the causes of acne? The main cause is genetics. Family history can make you understand how often you get pimples and where you get pimples. So genetics is the main cause. Uh, next is sebum and oil production. So basically the dead skin cells which are being shed from the hair follicle and the skin bacteria in presence of the sebum make a clog which can lead to pimples and inflammations. The third is the bacteria present on your skin. Basically, when a follicle is uh, plugged, multiple growth of acne bacteria starts to happen, which return, in return creates a reaction near the surrounding skin and inflammation occurs. Inflammation leads to acne. How does inflammation lead to acne? This might happen when you try to pop a pimple with your finger. The bacteria on your finger may get into the pimple and this might lead to acne. So basically there are very many different types of acne but the common ones are acne vulgaris so the, the the normal acne that we see every day the pimples that is acne vulgaris is a medical name for the common acne it's usually characterized by the presence of blackheads whiteheads and other types of pimples on your skin the most common spots for breakouts are normally the face the chest and the shoulders and the back as we have explained the next is comedones a comedo is or a basic acne lesion is a hair follicle that has become clogged when oil and dead skin cells clog it. Basically, they can either be whiteheads or blackheads. Blackheads are comedones that are open at the surface of the skin. They are filled with excess oil and dead skin cells. While whiteheads are comedones that stay closed at the surface of the skin. This happens when oil and skin cells prevent a clogged hair follicle from opening. Next one is papules. Papules are basic acne lesions that become inflamed, forming small red or pink bumps on the skin. Next we have nodules. Nodules are large inflamed bumps that feel firm when you touch them. They develop very, very deep within the skin and are very, very painful. We also have cysts. Cysts are large pus filled lesions that look similar to boils basically. People who develop nodules and cysts are usually considered to have a more severe form of acne. We also have mild acne. Acne falls into the mild category if you have fewer than 20 whiteheads or blackheads, fewer than 15 inflamed bum, uh, bumps or fewer than 30 uh, total lesions. Then you fall in the category that you have mild acne. What about moderate acne? If you have 20 to 100 whiteheads or blackheads, 15 to 50 inflamed bumps or 30 to 125 total lesions, your acne is normally considered to be moderate. So now do a self-examination and count how many you have and let us know down below how many, if, if you're in the which category you are, if you're in the moderate or if you are in the mild uh, section and we can be able to help you. So guys, 
how can you care for your acne prone skin acne prone skin is very sensitive in terms of care it's very important to understand how and what to use when taking care of your skin if it's acne prone let's get to the first step what what are you meant to do make sure you cleanse your skin gently but well using only your fingertips and a cleanser to clean your face thoroughly including your jawline neck behind the ears make sure you don't use rough pads or scrubs aggressively onto your skin also try to incorporate double cleansing in your routine where you use oil cleanser and then you use a foamy cleanser choose the right cleanser for your skin choosing the right cleanser is critical if you have an acne prone skin next is use a toner toners are very critical if you have an acne prone skin guys so please if you have any form of acne make sure you incorporate a toner how to choose that toner also is very very important and that's why we come in as glow secret so we we are meant to help you in choosing your toner toners normally help remove excess oil torn and also hydrate and also balance your skin's ph level they can also help fight blackheads and blemishes apply toner to a cotton uh, uh, ball or pad and gently smooth over your face in this motion to remove any leftover makeup also or any cleanser or any dirt and also it with korean you get another layer and make sure you tap onto your skin to um, to treat your skin also to work its magic and hydrate the skin as well if your skin tends to be dry either naturally or because you're using drying acne treatments a hydrating toner is critical for you if also you can also incorporate an exfoliating toner uh, mostly at night to help fight the acne as well the third is applying an oil-free moisturizer or gel. It may seem counterintuitive to moisturize already an already oily skin, but it's actually so critical to moisturize your skin because they, it balances your skin's uh, oil and water. So make sure you moisturize your already clean face to reduce any dry and peeling skin, at least twice daily. The fourth is applying sunscreen. Guys, we always tell you guys, sunscreen is so important. This step, you won't need before bed, but during the morning, every single day, you need to apply your sunscreen. Many acne treatment medication and exfoliating ingredients make your skin more susceptible to sun damage. So you have to apply sunscreen to protect your skin. It doesn't have to be sunny as long as it's during the day as sunscreen is a must have. The most important step in your skincare routine is consistency. The more consistent you are with your regimen, the better results you will achieve. So make a commitment to your skincare routine and take care of your skin. If you need help in getting acne breakouts under control or you're just, you need some guidance on choosing the best skincare products for you, please don't hesitate to come to Glow Secret because we are here to help you and help you get your acne under control i have been your host today uh Feirus, and thank you so much for the love and always supporting glow secret make sure you please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching